it's Caitlin and Rebecca at Star Center, and we are music therapists here, and we have decided to bring a segment called At Home Arts to y'all, and today we're going to talk about a social story uh, about the corona, and then how you can make some instruments using things around your house. So, Rebecca, first with the coronavirus. Yes, because I have the corona. No, I do not have the coronavirus. Let's start with that. <laughs> But we have found online, there are several resources available to you. This is just one that we have found is a free social story. So if you're, um, if you need a concrete way, simple way to explain what's going on in the world, this is a great resource. This one is by Manuela Molina at Mind Heart Kids. And we can link that in the comments below. But it is just a simple story about what is going on. It says, hello, I am a virus, cousins with the flu and the common cold. I love to travel. Have you heard about me? So there are options to engage with your kids and, um, you know, but you can explain it is sort of from the virus's point of view. So it gives you that option. The adults will take care of you. It's a great resource if your kids are having problems and you can explain that in a nice, simple way. Again, this is a social story called My Name is Coronavirus by Manuela Molina. And where did you find that? Did you find it on Caesars Pay Teachers? No, I found it online. Um, the website is mindheart.co, but we'll link it in the comments okay. below. Awesome. Other resources can be found on Teachers Pay Teachers. We'll also link that below. Uh, there's lots of free resources that you could use to there. So the first thing we are going to make is homemade egg shakers. Yay! So I know the parents, because you're all super great and high, highly prepared in life, that you already bought your Easter eggs. I know you did, you have them around your house somewhere. So, um, it is as simple as here, Caitlin, take an Easter egg, and you can fill it with whatever you have around your house. So today, Caitlin has the corn, um, little popcorn, pre-popcornals, wow, popcorn kernels. And I have beans, just regular, straight up dried beans. We're gonna scoop them here in our egg. By the way, Caitlin has never done this, so she's winging it with me um, today. Yeehaw. I like, I like the corn better. 100%. Yeah. yeah, but you know, you can make that an experiment if you need a science right. experiment too. So, two plastic spoons. Your next step, <clears throat> put them on the side. Mm -hmm. I didn't even explain to Caitlin what we were doing ahead of time. Okay. So you have to put this egg between the spoons, right? So then, if you take the ends together, again, we're doing this live, people. This is real life. Here, you want me to take yours? It's gonna be easier, probably. Yeah. Ooh, teamwork makes dream work. Teamwork makes dream work every day. So then you can just tape it together, and then in theory, you should probably also tape where the handle meets the egg. Is that, is that even how you say it? I don't know. <laughs> We're all a little, it's Friday, right? <clears throat> Tape it up, and now you have yourself a little maraca at home, DIY, easy to do. Very good. Awesome. Nice job, Caitlin. Can you give us an right. example? A little song with the maraca? A song? A song with the maraca. Shake it off. Oh, yeah! Shake it off, shake it off, oh, oh. All right. It's going in the crush the notes. Oh, I need that for later. Oh. Yes. All right, and so now we are gonna make um, drums using so many different things. So you can use like a vase um, that you have at home. You could also use a cup. This is okay. just uh, like a cup plastic cup. disposable. Cup. Yeah, cup or a mug. Or a mug. And so what you're gonna do is okay, take the balloon mm -hmm. and you cut it off at the wide at the wide point. Does that make sense? Where the balloon narrows, just mm -hmm. cut it, and I can't show you and do that at the same time. There you go, Caitlin. <clears throat> we have tested all of these at one point. <laughs> stretch it out because some of us need extra help. And then all you have to do is stretch it over the top. You good there? Yeah. You might have to do it one of once because that is like my life. Cut it in the wrong spot. If you cut it too high or too low, it won't sit properly. I promise I had done this before. Okay, so 
our paper cup has sort of molded, changed shape a little bit to accommodate the balloon. Look at you with your little drum. All you do is pinch it, and now you have a cup drum. So super easy, super fun. Um, and same thing with the eggs. You can do, like, how does the sound different with glass? Tall, short, wide mugs, kind of just get a little scientific with it, but it's so fun. Bravo. Yes. Look at you, Bill. It's right. a good song you could drum to. Oh, um, well, Blue Man Group is all drums. I like to drum to them. Yeah. Um, Beat It by Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. Awesome. All right. I don't, we don't need, well, no, we we don't need, need no, we do need Okay. That. Now we're going to make a straw. <laughs> My favorite. Pickle. It is so funny. It doesn't. It is a pan pipe. Y'all know like Peter Pan. It's a pan pipe. But it does not sound like it. This is a pre-made one. Um, it's very whistly like. But that's okay. So we're going to make our own. All it takes is some plastic straws, some tape, and a pair of scissors. Caitlin and I should have brought two pairs of scissors. We didn't think about that, but it'll be all right. So you have, oh, dropping stuff. One, two, three, four, five different lengths. It's easy to just line up the straws and cut them. The first cut I usually make is right before the bendy. The straw is the longest one. Okay. You could do them both together if you wanted. Yeah. And then we will reuse this short end as the last chunk. Yes, we are going to have flying things everywhere. <laughs> so then I will also cut off the, the bendy part of the straw because we'll use that at the end. I tried to <laughs> mitigate my laws here. And then the other two, or the other three sections in the middle, you'll just use some shorter segment than the first one. So pick a length, Caitlin. Or something shorter than the first one. Yeah, I know, but I gotta cut off the bendy, right? Of course. I mean, you didn't have to, but yeah. I guess we're gonna have a while. It'll gonna get a little fit. messy. Wiley's well, gonna have a fit when he comes in here. And then I made this for the smaller. Some I did too. And then some <laughs> other middle length, probably. Oops, sorry. I realize that y'all can't see because I have all of this stuff for later blocking the view. So then I'm going to line them up. Oh, those are crooked. Okay. All, so they're all the same, all together on one side. I cut two that are very close in length together. I guess I'm going to have to make some changes here. Oopsies. I didn't think about that. Look. Sorry, Cassidy. <laughs> you live and you learn and you make some changes. It's all about adaptability. Exactly. Cassidy, they're about to fly to you again. <laughs> Wiley is going to have a fit when I, he sees the mess I made in here. That's all right. So then all you do is very simple. Take some tape, lay them across the top. Hopefully they don't roll up on you like mine did the first time. This is not about being perfect. It's about having fun, engaging, you know, with each other, being creative. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, ta-da, I have a pan pipe. It doesn't make sound. Let's see. Hey! They have a successful pan pipe. Do and I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this before. You have done it before. Hey! Do I have a song for the pan pipe? No. Um, whistle while you work. Yeah. Snow White. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. So pan pipes. Um, it works. So our last instrument we're gonna make. Uh, we call them ocean drums, wave drums. Uh, but we brought very different plates because it really just depends what you have in your house. So we have. Uh, really cheap paper plates versus styrofoam, like Small. a heavier plastic, and then plastic. Those then are like paper. Clear plastic. Plastic. Paper. A heavier paper. Heavy duty paper. Sorry. And these are plastic. Uh, so you can use beads. Beads are the typical um, 
that's what I usually use on them. But mm -hmm. we also know that not everybody has beads in their house. So we're gonna go back to the corn and the beans. Corn and the beans. Or rice, probably too. Rice would work too. Yeah. Um, just depends on the sound you're looking for. Again, back to everything is a sound experiment or a science project you could do. All you gotta do is dump them in the plate. I don't know if that's gonna be enough, but we're gonna put some more in there. And then you'll tape it, which we're not gonna do because that would take us way too long right now. And it sort of sounds like ocean waves. The beans are not my favorite. I don't think the beans yeah. are my favorite. I think we decided the beads on the styrofoam are probably our favorite. So we're gonna just do beads for our little so, science experiment. We're just gonna do beads. Ooh, I like that. So for our styrofoam plate or a big paper, paper plate you could staple or you could tape. Um, with this plastic plate, you would obviously need to tape it. I don't like the sound of the plastic. I think that's what it is. Because the plastic mm -hmm. doesn't. But really, you can use whatever you want. It's all about just having fun and creating new things. So, I think I'll see. This one will probably make a mess. <laughs> this one's also good. I like this okay. one better. So, if you're going to tape the plates together, how do you tape the plates together? So you would tape around the rim of the plate, uh, half and half, you know, just around the edges. Um, if you have a stapler, you could also staple. Duct tape. We'll man, show you too. Would be the easiest way. Caitlin took the scissors. Oh, that is. What did I do last time? I used this duct tape. <laughs> All over the place. Okay, so we're gonna do this in strips because I don't. I have trust issues with myself. And so you just take your tape, line it up about the middle with the edge, and it'll fold a little bit, you know, but it will hold. And that's the whole point, because I'm sure you don't want beads all over your house floor, or your dog getting into that, or pick another, or a human getting into that, you know, I don't know what's going on in your house. But, <clears throat> You could, you know, I've got purple duct tape here. Purple's my favorite color. But with the paper plate, you can also decorate it. So then it can turn mm -hmm. into an art project, not just a music project. Um, well, I guess music is art. You know what I mean, a visual art project. And I'll do one more, I guess. Um, obviously, in your home, I recommend taping all the way around. Right. Not leaving <laughs> these gaps of space that we are leaving. Because what most likely will happen is your child will then have a lot of fun with it. So it's actually really nice. So it is a good sound. I like and it. And these are the cheap plates because we aren't buying super expensive plates here. <laughs> For art projects, anyway. <laughs> so the Ocean Throne we use in our practice a lot with relaxation or um, lullaby types. So that may be helpful for kids for sleep uh, or. Um, if you have a clear plate, um, even a clear, not this like catering level plastic plate, um, but you could use it like for tracking and you know mm -hmm. with the beads over and that's something especially a lot of young kids like yeah. because of the colors and the and also and some the tactile type. stimulation for sure because you could see all the bright color beads and fun mm -hmm. stuff. Um, so that is all that we have for today, but. Cassie has a question. Yes, uh, Cassie. So you said the those, what are they called? Ocean wave drums. Ocean wave drums would be good for relaxation. Yeah. Is it would you like tell it along with a lullaby or how would you Yeah, you could use it in the background or use it with a song. Um I when I use it in my practice a lot, I use it with my Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean. Just a very mm -hmm. simple um because I can time it right. So mm -hmm. My body lies over the ocean. My real way from flows a little better than this, don't judge. My body lies over the sea. See, that's what you don't want to happen. <laughs> yeah. You also probably put a lot more beads in it than we did too today, and so it would roll it better. It would roll well. better. Mm -hmm. But you can time it right in that yeah. manner as you sing cross and rotate it, or just use it as a flowing type thing in the background as sort of like a white noise machine. Yeah, in that manner. Right, do we have um, any questions, questions or anything? 
Um, no, not at this time. Okay. Awesome. We've got several people who have joined us. So. Oh, wonderful. Welcome. Hello. Also, so um, anyway, this is uh super great. So this is just a few we showed you. But uh, if you will, if you're a fan of Pinterest, you can find so much more. But uh, later today at at the Star Center on Pinterest, we'll be adding a board of more DIY instruments that you can um, make at home. So just hop on Pinterest and we'll also link that below too for at the Star Center. And just stay tuned for more information regarding us coming back, because we are, while school's out, gonna come back and do other activities uh, regarding the arts. Yeah, so this was segment one with home at, at home, home arts. arts. <laughs> with Caitlin and Rebecca. We'll be posting this in the links yes. below. Yes, and the, the link for the social story will be below. And if you have any questions regarding other makeshift instruments or other at-home music activities, please comment below. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.